Hi, I'd like to show you the benefits of using ArtCam for coin making. So I'm just going to show you a few quick tools that you can use within ArtCam, which are great time saving tools. So here you can see I've created a basic coin. This is the back of the coin. And if I just pan round, you can see that's the front of the coin. So what I'm going to do is create an embossed portrait on the back of this coin using the emboss relief wizard. Now this is a great tool, it gives really good results quite fast. So I'm just going to import a 3D file into the assembly. So I'm going to import this STL file called head and just open that. Now you can see that's imported the head into ArtCam. At the moment it's cutting through the coin. So I'm just going to turn off the front and the back relief. Just so you can see the head. Just rotate it round. And I'm going to click on the emboss relief wizard. What it asks you to do is to just rotate it round just to get a nice angle for the head. So I'm going to rotate it round to there and then click next. Now I can add perspective onto this. So I'll show you at the maximum. So there you can see that's right up against the camera if you like. And you can slowly come down. So let's say that looks fine there and I click next. It gives me the height for the detail and the shape. I'm just going to leave these at the default values and click finish. Now this will create an embossed version of that head. So I'm just going to turn off the head just to hide it and you'll see the embossed version of that head. So there we have quite quickly and quite simply a embossed head for this particular coin. So there you can see the head. I'll just turn everything back on. And there you can see that's added the head onto the back of my coin with relative ease. So what I'm going to do now is just do a little fade relief on this head just to bring the height down a little bit on the edges here. So if I go into a plan view and I'm going to turn my vectors on, here you can see I've created a circle and I'm going to select this circle and create a fade relief. I'm going to create a radial relief so it's all going to come from the center out to here. I can also select anywhere that I choose I could put it at the top of his head there if I like, but I'm going to use 0, 0 for the centre and just create that radial fade. So here you can see it's faded down on all of the edges and I'm going to close that. Here you can see that because the circle that I created was inside the actual head, it's left a bit standing proud there. So that's easy enough to get around. I'll just turn off my vectors, just zoom in here, and you can see it's standing up. And I'm just going to erase that. So if I just select over it, this will erase it. So I can do things manually as well. I'm just going to erase this bottom edge here as well, just so it looks a bit more neat. And that should do fine. Have a look at the top. So there we have the head. I'll just rotate it round a little bit. And I'll click this. This is the gradient analysis tool. What this will do, it will show any sharp edges in yellow and not so sharp edges in red. And the smooth edges are in blue. So as you can see here, we have a few sharp edges on the nose and also on the ear. 
this is not too good for this particular piece because people are going to rub their fingers over this particular coin and they might cut themselves for instance or if you are making the coin you might have to hand finish this afterwards so what I'm going to do is create a smooth relief and I'm going to create 10 passes you will see the colors start to change back to blue so it's becoming smoother so if I just cancel that then you can see all of this face is more or less smooth now so I'll turn off my gradient analysis tool now pan round and you can see that's the back of my coin completed so I'm now going to turn off the back of my coin just so it leaves me with the front and I'm just going to drop an object onto this particular front part so I'm going to go to the clip art library and I'm going to use this double eagle Here you can see it's giving me a preview of it in the 3D view I'm going to just go into the 2D view and turn on all of my vectors just so I can see where this particular part is and I can move this particular part like so or I could do it with the handlers so it's quite easy this is I'm going to change the size of it to 0.1 high and apply that and then just paste that there if I go back onto the 3D view then you can see that's created the eagle there but if I turn it round because this is going to be the front you can see that this is actually sunk into the part so I just need to change that to subtract and it will raise it so there we have the raised part for this turn my front relief back on and you can see that's the front of the coin rotate round and there we have the back of the coin so there we have a coin produced quite easily really and thus saving money and time